Hey everyone, Rarity Dash here, time for another blind commentary. And today I'm looking at yet more Ruby stuff. Yep, I want to keep it alive even while it's on hiatus, and the best way to do that for the moment is Fanworks. Though, pretty soon we'll have more Ruby Chibi, and I'll have that to keep it on my channel. But, uh, not quite yet. I think we got a couple months still before that happens. Uh, so today I'm looking at Everything Wrong with Ruby Volume 1 and Volume 2 by John Fox. Two videos in one, and they're CinemaSins parodies. And uh, considering I've looked at lots of CinemaSins parodies on this channel already for MLP, it just made sense to get to these. It felt like a really good fit for this channel, uh, <laughs> and like something I'll probably enjoy. Because uh, even though I don't really watch the original Cin CinemaSins channel much at all, I've seen like just a handful of videos, I do like the little shy ones, I do enjoy this sort of content. Uh, I don't think I understood it at first. I thought like, oh, they're kind of making points that aren't really real points or like complaining about things that actually do make sense. But uh, I I've learned to take it not so seriously and just sort of enjoy the comedy aspect of it a lot more. So yeah, I, I think I'm ready to see someone pick apart something I love like Ruby here. And uh, I think I'll probably enjoy it, as, as long as he does a good job like Little Shy does. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this started. Okay, and here we go. Everything wrong with Ruby in nine minutes or less. Spoilers, duh. Narration. So just having narration is a now, sin? This guy's a terrible thief. <laughs> yeah. The guy that you tackled out the window go? Oh, good point. That was totally necessary. It was very necessary. Yep, terrible criminal. <laughs> How did he get over there so fast without being seen? Yeah. Where did she come from? They I started it! We'll That's never know. Reason. <laughs> you have silver eyes. This is definitely important sometimes. Yes, yes it is. And what is an adorable girl such as yourself doing at a school designed to train warriors? Excellent question. So that's a sin? <laughs> it is an excellent question. Main character wanted to be normal cliche. Yeah. Who continues to evade authority. Exposition through in-universe news reports. Mm-hmm. Wow. They would have had this view the whole time. Why is she getting surprised now? Uh, good point. <laughs> this guy's totally not important. <laughs> it's like meeting yeah. people. But better. Introvert. Ruby, no, actually, my friends are here now. <laughs> Those important Just friends. friends yeah, there. yeah. No burn damage whatsoever. Well, Aura. Where am I supposed to find another nice, quirky girl to talk to? There she is. <laughs> no, I literally exploded a hole in front of the school. What hole? Yeah, there it really isn't a hole, is there? Really? Unnecessary fast forward. It's, it's fine. This school will prove Wait, so what exactly was that speech supposed to accomplish? So the only time generic characters aren't in silhouette. Yeah. It's about a man with two souls, each fighting for control over his body. Oh, yeah. Is she reading what's left of me? <laughs> Red versus blue? Could be a lot of things. Harry Potter, yeah. the real world isn't the same as a fairy tale. Well, that's why we're here. Naive optimism. There had to be large gaps in her speech to allow for the changes like this. Yeah. Soliloquy. <laughs> or just a lot more speech. How come literally nobody else is aware of this? I think others probably are, just Jean isn't. will be your partner for the next four years. That's a totally reliable way to decide things. Mm -hmm. Not hesitate to destroy everything in your path, or you will die. This is the ultimate hazing. Yeah. Pure as a dick to trees. <laughs> the angle of her face suggests she's running in one direction, while the motion lines in the background suggest another direction. Punching bears. Broad yeah. side of a. Aw. Nobody touches the hair. <laughs> yeah. Yang is a dick to trees. Big mistake. Right foot forward. Why are the Ursas just waiting their turn? Those are Beowulf. Ruby is a dick to trees. Zoom in on the eyes. It's like a force field. That was an appropriate outburst. <laughs> it's John. How exactly did Ren's weapons help in this fight? Ren doesn't need weapons. What a thought sounds like. You and me both, Ren. Nor about Where exactly are the cameras that allow them to observe this? Huh. That's a good question. Some girls in trouble. Joke about John's masculinity. Yeah, well, it was funny. <laughs> really? I would have never guessed. <laughs> Yeah. When exactly did they get on this bird? Please. We will never know. Don't ever do that again. Why not? Seems like it was pretty effective. Yeah. Looney Tunes gravity. 
Don't get me started on your fighting. The Death Stalker barely struggles this entire time. Don't even get me started on the Nevermore. Yeah. It is pretty convenient. Tell us what it is. And hold that pose. I know the plan exactly, even though I was nowhere near you guys. Ridiculously epic maneuver. Not really sin, I just wanted to highlight. <laughs> guys, how do I get It's down? worth highlighting. Well, that was a thing. Thanks, Yang. Mm -hmm. Blake Belladonna, Very valuable input. Ruby Rose, Weiss Schnee, and Yang Shao Long. That's how you spell Ruby. Mm -hmm. What exactly is the significance of these cards? Well, that's the money. Cops and dumb cops. He actually kept the dust Decorating. brochure. What? Schnee brand toothpaste. Oh, I never noticed the brochure. Or would it be that's no cool. Fiction? In joke. Um, that sounds incredibly dangerous. I'm with you, Weiss. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, that'll totally work. <laughs> Blunderbuss axe. Huntress, creepy old man teacher. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Who the yeah. F are you? Good question. Nonsense instead of actual dialogue. That's so funny. Mm -hmm. Costume change in the middle of class. Twice, go for its belly. There's no armor underneath. Stop telling me what to do. Turning down actually helpful advice. It appears we are indeed in the presence of a true Huntress in training. Isn't every female there a Huntress in training? Yeah. Class Five minute long class. <laughs> What's with this I motion? guess we she can shut up. assume it was longer Here. somehow. Where did you get that? Yeah. It, That's wrong, she's very way. quick what with is? that coffee. Where is she going at this time of night? Yeah. It will help you decide when it is appropriate. As long as I have one HP, oh, I'm okay. <laughs> She's been having this recurring dream for nearly a month now. How does Ren know this dream so vividly? He's probably Not heard about so it quite funny. a lot. What? No, wait, wait. How does nobody see this happen? Besides, Guess they just don't care. It's not like he's only a jerk to me. He's a jerk to everyone. Defending the bully. <laughs> Please stop. Bad for the sake of being bad. Yeah. Have any among you been subjugated or discriminated because of your fondness heritage? Dreadful, simply dreadful. Lampshaded. Mm -hmm. Eyesights? Binoculars? What exactly is she trying to convey here? It's night vision. How exactly was Jean supposed to figure that out from your hints? <laughs> yeah. We can train up here after class. We're this seems like a good training spot. I got my hands on some fake transcripts, and I lied. Beacon screening process probably needs a rework. Yeah. I'm sure our leader knows exactly what he's Why is she doing. so angry? That's how collecting tree sap works. Uh-huh. I said, no. <laughs> Idiotic heroism cliche. What happened to the rapier wasps? Sure that, yeah. Cardin has a whole five seconds to get out of the way, but instead he just. Yeah, Cardin's kind of an idiot. Saving the bad guy. Magnets are cool. How do they work? <laughs> yeah, we gotta tell them what happened. <laughs> we shall never know. Or perhaps we could just keep it our little secret. No, you should definitely tell them what happened. And this guy is never heard from again for the rest of the season. Yeah. Oh, they smell like fish. Only shows up a couple Guess times more. Maybe. These background people have no reaction whatsoever. Yeah. Well, Weiss, you wanted to see the competition. And there it goes. There is no evidence that he's participating in the tournament. Yeah, I've always kind of the contrary, been a bit you weird me about that. That Am I really didn't really add up. Reading into things much? Yeah, sure. Ruby does not understand body language. <laughs> It's a combat skirt. A combat skirt? Yeah. Love that moment. Stop calling him a rapscallion. Stop calling him a degenerate. She never said degenerate. They would have had to yeah. stop their conversation, head all the way back to their dorm, wait for night, and then continue their argument for the scene change to take place. You want to know why I think we're to assume they were arguing the whole way through. they're a bunch of liars, thieves, and murderers. Weiss is the definition of racist. Nobody saw this coming. <laughs> I'm sure the some people saw it coming. They didn't do it. <laughs> is to go to the place where they would most likely go to if they were to do it, and not find them there, right? That is completely sound logic. The textures mm -hmm. on the sidewalk don't line up correctly. If you're gonna hold someone up with a sword, put the blade side to their throat. Yeah, that would make more sense. Why would you do that to someone with a knife to your throat? Also, how did he not get caught in the explosion? Good you are question. Not the brightest banana in the bunch. You are not the brightest banana in the bunch, are you, kid? Gun jokes. <laughs> and why doesn't she do that to the ship? The Gun jokes are awesome. Do you have any idea of how long we've been searching for you? 
12 hours. 12 hours? But earlier they said she'd been gone the whole weekend. Even Sen oh. mentions two days of separation. Yeah, I guess she just means that day? I don't know. We'll break his legs! <laughs> Nora. Everything wrong with volume two. That is not the sound of closing a book. Yeah. It's a bit too loud. Seven minutes ago. The score is 20 years. Ruby has not even been alive for one score, much less four. Did you still buy binder? Ruby is not a crook. I am not a crook. Mm -hmm. I always kick my semesters off with the gang. God damn it, Bar! <laughs> Wait, what is their relationship with Scarlet? Why was this never touched on again? Well, he Honest was eventually in joke. introduced. How stiff is this bread? Is it even edible? Yeah. I think can't be fair in a food fight. We're to assume that it's being channeled that with their aura or something. Okay, seriously? Is all the food made of metal? <laughs> there goes HBO. <laughs> and she never uses this ability again. To eliminate the would-be runner. Scene does not I contain a lap dance. <laughs> what? Was some sort of cat, actually. What? Like a puma? Yeah. There you go. Like a big cat of some kind. What? Like a puma? Yeah, man. There you go. Yeah. In jokes. What did Crow say? When did he say it? Well, How did he know? At the very end of Volume One, the message. Children can win a war. Do you expect them to? You just activated my trap card. Yeah, okay, that's. Kinda. Scene does not contain. Oh. As you know, <laughs> in order to enroll at my academy, students must first pass a rigorous entrance exam. Wait, did John have to pass this exam? Hi. Nope. Don't recognize your face at all. Nonsense instead of actual dialogue. Mhm. Mm Team Ruby attends the Superman School of Disguises. Yeah. Actually, these costumes are really nice. Minus one sin. What possible use could a hologram receptionist have? And how could it operate a terminal? <laughs> yeah, Those yeah, guys that's fall good. before they're even kicked. Not fragile, but breakable things. I love the breakable things. That's hilarious. Considering all the other superhuman feats we've seen so far, how is anyone surprised yeah, by this? Yeah, that's a good point. I'm not a real girl. How is anyone surprised by this? These guys are yeah, totally it not that was obvious. here, but in the next shot they are. So is he going somewhere with this? My thoughts exactly. To mention the All new recruits, please come forward. Why are they calling the new recruits forward? This electrical panel bleeds. And they were never heard from again. Ship it. <laughs> Bumblebee. Yeah, I guess she really made our plans. Didn't even fall apart. show the bumblebee. God damn it, Bar! In joke, Team Cardinal gets their ass kicked by a single person. No sin. Yeah. Unnecessary bullet time. Yeah, we're playing the whole event. Excuse me? Why were Weiss and Yang asked? Why not any of the other hundreds of students in the school? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this. Did he seriously think this would work? I... That's a good question. Why not? It's not like the dance would be called off just because one person can't go. Oh, people assume she's fated for victory when she's really taken fate into her own hands. A Pyrrhic victory is a victory at a great cost. So what could that thing about destiny be foreshadowing? Oh. It certainly isn't touched on for the rest of the volume. <laughs> Just wait. What are you two wearing? Uh, this? Sun has no idea what formal attire is. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> Blake's a cat. <laughs> yes. Wait, how did she point around the corner like that? I, uh, what is she drawing on the board? What does it have to do with her story? What is she crow. trying to do with the flower? You're the kind of guy I wish I was here with. Oh my god, take the hint, John! Penny is not doing the robot. Well, she is later. When did they have time to practice this dance? Yes, yes. Don't get me wrong, it's an awesome dance, but still a sin for shoehorning it in. A party guest is leaving. <sighs> Which one? Ironwood. They noticed Ironwood leaving, but not Ruby. Yeah, I guess they were paying less attention to her. I, that's the only real explanation there. Not familiar at all. 
every situation like it's a contest of measuring dictatorial power <laughs> what yeah why would this mission be available to pick if only first year students were present any other and I certainly wonder why witnesses reported seeing robots and robots. And this makes no sense at all, this line. It didn't happen in the dance club. It's Dr. Ublick. Doctor and Professor both require a PhD. Yeah. We're shadowing Most Huntsman. of the time, at least. Why are they shadowing a Huntsman? I thought they didn't attend Beacon. All the students from all the schools How are doing it. possibly misinterpret that? Coffee stain, which disappears in the next shot. I'm a genius. That little convenience deserves not one, but two. <laughs> Where did she get that? Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. It looks awesome. That, my dear girl, is a grin. Thank you, Professor. I mean, Dr. <laughs> Obvious. I had a partner named Adam. No cutaway scene or flashback where it would have been really useful for people who haven't seen the trailers. Well, Unless everyone has to see the trailers. <laughs> Yang doesn't notice Ruby getting up and leaving. Huh? Zwei is a dog. Zwei. Yeah. I I heard of Beowulf or yep, something. Beowulf. Nice landing strategy. Glasses oh. over mask. Yeah. What? Weren't you just drinking out of that thing? <laughs> we need backup. Let me call Sean. You need backup, and the first person you can <laughs> yeah, call yeah. Sean. <laughs> Where did the bad guys that were advancing on them go? <laughs> Wellhelm is a member of the White Fang. Mm -hmm. Set blade to stun, not kill. What? Well, the cars. They detach and explode, creating openings on a grid. There are definitely more efficient ways to set off bombs than blowing up entire train cars. Yeah. What? <laughs> yes. Yes. What? <laughs> Pose. <laughs> Not even going to try and stop them, huh? How did she survive the chainsaw? Aura. So what's it gonna be, Blake? <laughs> For all her resolution, Blake hesitates to kill Roman. That blade could not have physically been in that sheath. Unnecessary flourish. How did anyone on board survive this? We see Roman later, but all of the other White Fang members are dead. Yeah. Junior detectives. The only other time these guys have showed up to fight, and they don't actually do anything. Yeah, they're pretty useless. Nutshots are effective against Grim. <laughs> they are when you're Coco. Velvet has done practically nothing since she appeared, and now you're taking away her moments. Yeah, well, you just gotta wait. Be patient. Well, you know what? I can't even be surprised. <laughs> Why are you guys fist bumping? You literally didn't do anything. <laughs> the two-headed snake literally crushed a bakery. Yeah. They definitely only had one head. The he other head on the other side. But they should, otherwise it's just bad writing. But they'll listen to me. Case in point. Cliffhanger. Mm -hmm. post credit scene. Given the aesthetic of the show, this explains nothing, except maybe some kind of connection to Yang. Yeah. Well, you can gather from implication who she is. Okay. And there we go. So yeah, this was a pretty good pair of videos. This guy does this pretty well. I mean, I can only really compare it to other parodies I've seen and the very few actual CinemaSins videos I've seen. But this seems to get it pretty well. He has a pretty good sense of timing and uh, made some rather amusing little jokes about the show and uh, also pointed out some some pretty substantial logic problems in places. Though some of the stuff he pointed is explainable or is explained in the series. I mean, uh, his complaints about the characters not being damaged by attacks, aura is always the explanation there, I think, and that's pretty well explained. Uh, and there are other little things where maybe he was going a little bit too far out of the way to make a joke about it when it was kind of, yeah, something that does make sense. And I also think that there are some things that he probably missed. I mean, Ruby, it does have a lot of little flaws in its animation and in, like, scenes. Uh, one thing especially that stands out to me that he didn't comment on is uh, in the dance episode with Cinder, you see her mask in some of the scenes and not in others, and it's really obvious that this is a big animation error and uh, just a complete lack of consistency. And uh, just having him not come on, comment on that, I, I think that was 
yeah, something that really deserved to be in there, since it's one of the biggest mistakes I've seen in the show. But, uh, and there are other little things, too, that I've noticed before that maybe weren't mentioned. But uh, overall, I would say, yeah, he's doing pretty good here. And uh, I'm looking forward to eventually looking at the Volume 3 one, which is out, and I think... Uh, well, I hope that eventually he'll get to a Volume 4 one, and maybe I'll do those two together, or just do Volume 3 on its own sometime in the future. We'll see. And, uh, yeah, until then, hope you liked the commentary, let me know if you did, and see you in the next one. <laughs>